Hello, this is Craig from bitbox.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you how to paint a cool white on your miniatures. So um, I'm using the Primaris Lieutenant. For an example, um, just in this first step, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, so I'll just quickly show you this guy. So this guy is from my custom Sons of Osiris chapter. And you'll see um, he's obviously white. And he has like sort of this cool blue in the recesses. So by cool blue, I mean like um, all the shades sort of a very sort of cool feeling, um, like an icy blue. If you want to do a warm white, you could replace that with like a khaki color or even a br brown. Um, of course, you could just um, spray your miniature white and be done with it. But we're gonna just gonna take this a little bit further to get that sort of cool looking white effect so yeah here is the um, lieutenant for the Primaris Marines and he has been spray painted with um, the skull white primer from GW I think they call it Corex white now but it's essentially the same thing it's just white and as I said you know you could leave it at that but we're gonna do a bit more we're actually gonna take some Ulf Fuin grey and that is actually gonna be our main base tone I like using Ulf Fuin grey over um, skull white or white scar, whatever they call it these days, um, over a pure white, just because then um, it gives you a chance to highlight up from there as well. So um, essentially, we're just going to cover the entirety of this miniature with this ultra and grey, and of course, um, as you see with the primer, it doesn't always give you an even coverage. Um, you don't really want to spray primer on too heavily because you can obscure some of the details so it's always best to have a light give it some light bursts and then just paint on your base colour as normal so you'll probably just need the one coat of this unless it's some areas where the primer hasn't really hit very well you may need another one but essentially as you see as it goes on it looks nice and smooth um, compared to the primer as well. So I'm not going to babble on any longer because um, here's one I did earlier. So this guy's actually been um, airbrushed with Ulfu and Grey. So it's you know it's a really nice smooth finish. Still the colour of areas only touching up but we'll do that as we go along. So next is to add shade to the recesses. So of course there's no sort of light bluey grey um, wash available, certainly not from the Citadel range and I'd be surprised if there was any from any other paint ranges as well, I haven't seen one. So we have to make our own. Now you can simply do this just by thinning the paint down, however I like to add a little bit of the Liquitex Flow Aid. And um, if you haven't got this, you could actually um, just give the miniature a matte varnish and that will help the paint flow into the recesses a little bit better. Um, we're going to take some oh, some Fenrisian grey, if I don't drop it. And we're going to mix this with a little bit of flow aid and a little bit of water. Um, I do suggest um, using the main medium if you've got it, but water will do just fine because we're only using a little bit. So I'm going to mix that up on my palette with a tiny bit of flow aid. Now I, I just Flow aid comes out quite quickly from a bottle, so I just do a few drips on my palette and then mix it in. And I'll bring my palette over here to show you. So you scoot out of the way. Here it is on my palette. You can see like <laughs> it's quite thin. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more flow aid into it. Um, sorry, it's not really in shot very well. I've got a bit running down here where it's got into the pure flow aid. But you can see it's quite thin quite transparent and that's what we want so try and get a nice tip on the brush we'll start painting that into the recesses so I don't advise just slopping it all over your miniature because that will tint the whole thing blue of course you can do that and then neaten it up afterwards um, but doing it this way will just make the next step a little bit easier um, my brush really doesn't want to keep a tip at the moment. Um, the feet's always a 
good place to show you. Now this is quite thin, um, you could do a bit thicker if you want the blue a little bit stronger. Of course you could do a couple of coats <coughs> excuse me, of this if you want it stronger. It's all just a matter of um, preference. Just go around. I like to go around the head. Now as you can see I'm using like the Mark III head on my Primaris Marine just because it's what I use in my army. I quite like the Mark III stuff. We go into these panels on the back. Back of his leg. And you see I'm not being particularly neat, um, you can see where the paint flows nicely into these or at least hopefully on the camera you can see how the paint's flowing into these areas um, but don't worry if it does settle on the surface because the next step we will neaten it up so I'm just going to continue to go around the miniature and then we'll be back um, for the next step okay so now you can see that or hopefully you can see on the camera that the um, recesses are now this light um, blue um, from the um, Fenrisian Grey. As you can see as well, I sort of tinted some areas where I was a little bit sloppy with it. But that's fine um, because now we're going to come back in with, with the Ilf Fuin Grey. And we're literally just going to neaten this up. So starting with the foot. Now, of course, as you do this, you want to leave the Fenrisian Grey in the recessed areas. So I'm using a small brush here, just being neat. Carefully neaten up all these areas, like so. And there's some areas on the miniatures on this miniature which are not going to be um, white, so I'm just going to ignore them, such as the knee pad and shoulder pads. Now the alfu and grey is quite thinned at this stage. Um, the trick to painting a nice white is to keep your paint nice and thin and do multiple coats if need be. Um, I will probably do two coats of this, especially over some areas such as here where it's gone quite heavy. So I don't expect to cover that in a single coat. So I'm just going to continue working my way around this miniature and then we'll be back for the final step. So with um, these areas neatened up, you can see we now have a nice smooth white marine. But there's just one last little step, and that is to actually give this guy a highlight. And the highlight colour, as you could probably guess, is white scar. So this is a pure white. And essentially I'm just going to do an edge highlight. So for example around the hand, just going around. top and right edge like so, a line across this band here, so this just makes it a little bit more visually interesting. So I worked one of these colours where if you just go over pure white you then have nowhere to go in terms of a highlight which is why I like to use the Ilfuan grey, you go down onto the foot. along with that arch and there. Let's add a little bit more water into the paint. That flows a little bit better. Again when working with the edge highlights it's always worth to thin the paint so it flows a little bit better, especially with these GW paints. And I like to run just across the top. Of the foot, like so. Um, you, some people just like do the end. I like to just run along there. Of course, it'll dry a lot lighter than this as well. So, just um, continue working all the way around, doing all the edges of the armor. 
and here is the finished white. Now um, usually when I paint these guys, um, once they've been undercoated with your thin grey, I then do the Fenrisian, the Fenrisian grey wash and then I'll paint all the other details before going back to neaten them up. That's just so if I make any mistakes um, I don't have to go back and neaten it up twice. But with this guy obviously I'm just showing you the white. I don't know how well the camera picks up some of the highlights, especially under the lamps. But I've gone around all these panels at the back. Um, some areas where I think maybe I could have done a bit more of the alpha and grey, but I think it's come out quite nice. Um, it's hard to say looking at it on camera compared to how it looks to the eye, but um, on, the t on the tabletop at least it looks um, very nice and very clean. And that's sort of the white I'm going for. I like to have a nice clean and cool white. So I hope this tutorial has been um, fairly useful for some of you who may want to attempt painting white. It's not the easiest of colours to do, it does take a little bit of work, but I mean I've painted this guy fairly quick so so it's um, not too bad. Um, I've got a lot of these guys to paint, I've only painted 10 so far so I've got a lot of work ahead of me and I'm also going to be painting up some Death Guard so our next painting tutorials should hopefully see couple of the different death guard schemes which I'm quite excited um, about painting. So in the meantime um, you can um, like this video and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. We have a couple of other videos up on the screen that you could check out as well as and we also have a Patreon page um, set up and we are going to do a giveaway um, this month as well. Um, the last one proved quite popular so we're going to have even more stuff to give away this month so all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next video.